Chris, you're supposed to be on tonight's card. Yeah. What happened? How are you feeling? It's, it's the elbow thing. Yeah. The elbow. Like after the um, Stavera fight, actually I fucked it up in the fourth round. It's always been an agony injury. Um, I'm not trying to put an excuse in my face. Right, no, of it's course just, not. Something that happens, part of boxing. Right. And I finally got surgery on it in August. And um, after that, I had to get the PRP. It's a whole lot of recovery stuff. And still, right now, I'm still feeling a little, little, not 100%. It's not like an 80, but I'm trying to get there little by little, slowly but surely. Hitting the gym every day, me and Henry. Good. Um, when you started sparring already, so just trying to get the feeling, trying to trying to work it in little by little, but I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling very optimistic for 2015. When did you first notice that you had an issue with your elbow? Oh shit! <laughs> After the Klitschko fight. Really? Yeah, so I've what... been I've been fighting for years with the, with my elbow like that. Um, he's just a big, strong man, and once you get punched in that elbow so much, it it finally gave way and. It's okay. Yeah, so I just learned. I just learned to deal with it. I just learned. If you watch some of our fights, you see me shake out my arm like this a lot. Yeah. It's, just, it's just it dies on me. It would die on me a lot in the fight. So you saying that Klitschko caused the injury? Klitschko, uh, for sure, threw it over the top. But once again, no excuse. It's not excuse. Right. It's boxing. You just never you play with it. That's the sport I chose. I chose to fight like yeah. that. I chose to do it. So um, it's boxing. So now it's it's fixed and. Uh, Let's go at it again. Man, you're looking really slim, you're looking fit. How do you feel? Um, I feel good, man, but uh, gotta give big ups to my boy right here. And I got your nigga putting it down tonight right here. Good job, man. Uh, but um, yeah, just getting, just getting the double ready. I'll be ready for the end of January, February. Ready to fight, man. I'm, I'm ready to get back in the mix, get back in the game, and I'm not the guy that's gonna be calling guys out. Oh, well, fuck you and this and that. I la Shannon Briggs, but I think it's funny. I like Shannon Briggs. I think that's funny as hell. But that's not me. I'll work my way up there. So 2015, a big year for you. Big year. Got ha got happen. Who would you like to fight to say that yes, Chris Ariola is back, number one contender? Honestly, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. I just want to earn my keeps. I want to earn my title shots again. I don't want to just be handed to that shit. I'm going to work my way to the title shot like I did the last time. And that's the way I am and that's the way it's going to be. I'm a blue collar boxer. Awesome. Now, with you know, with your weight loss and looking really fit, do you feel you still have the same power that you did with the Klitschko fight? The thing about it, everybody says it's the weight loss. It's not so much the weight okay. loss. It's maintaining the weight. Maintaining. That's, that's the hardest thing to do. Because once you lose the weight, people want to gain the right back and get all muscle. Oh man, I, I walk around at 55, thank you, Bernard. At 55, you know, that way by come fight time, I fight at 40. 15 pounds to lose ain't that big of a deal. Compared to before, I used to get to like 280, 290. Stupid, dumb, live and learn. Yeah, well man, we look forward to 2015. So thank you very I. much. Thank you, man. All right, have a good one. Have a good one, man.